Hey guys, I have a 55 inch Samsung TV that stopped turning on uh, a few months ago. It was intermittent. So I took it apart. I looked at the uh, circuit board. There's two chips right here in the bottom right hand part of the screen. Those seem to be the issues. So um, it comes apart easy, probably six or eight screws across the back. Um, you take it apart. I tested, there is voltage coming out of the power supply. I did go to a place called Shop Jimmy. They did have no motherboard, but they did have the individual parts. And due to my experience working in the telecom industry, um, I have no problem swapping out these chips. Here's a slow-mo view over top of them. Uh, it says black one right in the bottom, and the other one's got the number 108115. I'm trying to figure out on this one which the what the polarity is. It looks like there's writing a T or an ST. I use that as a polarity mark to put it onto the board. Hey guys, this is the back of my 55 inch Samsung TV. It was not powering on. However, I did replace this chip and that chip and now it seems to power on, but I can't make the uh, service menu or the service screen come up. I think I might have put one of these chips on backwards, so I am just going to double check my solder joints and uh, maybe turn that smaller chip, that one around. I can't tell the polarity on it like I can on the larger one, so I think I might have it installed incorrectly. Looking at this, I got some poor solder joints on the small chip right there and on this side. The large chip seems to be okay. So this might be my whole problem. And it looks like there might be another chip out of place right there. Yeah, let me reflow those and move that little chip. It is small, like this is my finger. So that little chip is the size of freaking next to nothing. Too much. Got a solder bridge there. I'm trying to concentrate and do this at the same time. So just use a little bit of solder wick. Solder wick helps flow the solder as well. That looks pretty good. Those look good. These ones here all look good. No bridging, no nothing.
there it is. I think I found it. It is so freaking small. You have no idea. Okay, so I just put it in place. These are like pinpoint freaking tweezers and After struggling with this little resistor, uh, you can see why the number's just underneath that IC, right where I'm going to be dropping this dollop of uh, flux. Um, there's a capacitor, resistor, resistor, and then another capacitor. So this is a resistor. I don't know if this just is in line or on top of the, the circuit. Anyway, I flick it right there and the thing is gone. So yeah, right at this point, uh, I just thought, what have I got to lose? I am just going to uh, put it back in the TV and see if it worked. Well, I plugged it in. It doesn't. Seem to be working. Well, I'll be dipped.